This week on the show, we have entrepreneur and reality show star from Joe Millionaire for Richer or for Poorer, Kurt Sowers. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about understanding that thinking big and thinking small takes the same amount of effort. The truth is thinking big requires having faith and optimism. The opposite mindset, thinking small, which requires mustering feelings of lack and fear, takes the same amount of effort. The question is, if both mindsets take the same amount of effort, why not just think big? Thinking big and having faith not only gives us a sense of excitement and forces us to dwell in possibility, but it allows us to never put restraints or a ceiling on what we can achieve. We are limitless beings and the only thing that holds us back from achieving anything is the self-made constraints we've made up in our minds. Make it your mission today to use your energy to always think big and put limiting, small, fearful thoughts out the window. As Paulo Coelho quotes, if you think small, your world will be small. If you think big, your world will be big. I was going to say, would you ever go on another reality show again? Or are you done with it after this? <laughs> no, I, I would actually. I wouldn't do a reality dating show. That was just, uh, it was a bit much for me. And I don't know if, um, and maybe I'm just a bit scorned that I didn't find love out of it. I don't know. But I just don't, I wouldn't want to put myself up for that again. But I would do another reality show. Now, I would, I would want it to be something that, I was maybe a little bit more passionate about maybe a rowdy show in the construction industry. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have entrepreneur and reality show star Kurt Sowers from Fox's Joe Millionaire for Richer or for Poorer. Kurt, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to have you and finally make this happen. It's exciting because as I was telling you, I've been binge watching the show. So yeah, it's exciting to finally chat with you. So let's talk about Joe Millionaire for our viewers that don't know. I know it's a remake of a 2003 Joe Millionaire dating show. So talk to us about what it's about. Uh, so the original one was a bit of a ruse and, and maybe this one was too. But, but not as big of a ruse. So the original show, you know, they lied to a bunch of women, said that the gentleman they brought on was a, had just inherited like $50 million. And long story short, he was just a construction worker mm -hmm. and a lower, lower level construction worker at that. So this time around, um, they uh, added a little twist to it. They had two guys, two mm -hmm. gentlemen, uh, and one of us was uh, extremely wealthy and the other one was more of an average Joe. So, uh, Still playing on the name of the show, Joe Millionaire. Two of us, one rich, one not, uh, and it's up to the women to figure out who is who. Mm. Mm hmm. And why was this something that you wanted to be a part of? Because I feel like you're a little bit introverted, so you know you have to get out of your comfort zone. So yeah, why was this something that you decided to be part of? <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. I am. I am a bit introverted. Um, I don't like to really share too much of my life with people. I'm mm -hmm. always a bit reserved. That I always put on a facade for people, especially online, so that they don't actually know who I am. Um, why did I decide to do it? I think it was a YOLO moment. You know, I just it, this this opportunity presented itself. I was at a point in my life where, uh, you know, I was single for probably the longest time I had ever been single. Yeah, so it was it was just a unique opportunity that I was presented with, and uh, as I said, I was you know, working for myself, running my own company, so I was able to step away uh, without uh, any repercussion. And then I had been single for the longest time that I'd, I'd been probably most of my adult life, so I figured, why not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> why not do it? Yeah, and um, it, it just felt it just felt right to do. I, I it, it got me outside of my comfort zone. I said before I, I normally don't let people into my life so I figured out why not I'll just put myself out there 
Very nice. I like that you said it's a YOLO moment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, you just have to take risks, right? And just go for it. And you never know yeah. where it'll uh, end up. So I like that you said that. You know, the premise of the show, of course, is that one of the men have considerable wealth. So did you have any doubts or fears kind of going into this or how the women would perceive you? Uh, not really. I, I think I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with who I am mm -hmm. and although that was a big underlying theme of the show it didn't really bother me much you know I've, I've worked hard to get to where I am in my life and I figured that if any woman were interested in me she could see that so mm -hmm, yeah and of course as you said you had to take a risk for being on the show because you are introverted and you know this was a, a YOLO moment so let's talk about what did you learn on the show what are three lessons that you learned on the show throughout the whole process because I'm sure it was quite the experience right especially since you were one of the main people on it yeah <laughs> what did I learned I think one of the first things I learned is uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a one-woman guy I'm not meant to date multiple women <laughs> that's just uh, not a thing uh, it was very uncomfortable in doing so to be honest um, Another thing, I don't know if I learned this until after, but it definitely became a lot more comfortable in my own skin. You know, when you start watching this back, and, and then even when we first started filming, you get all these cameras on you 24-7, and you just have to fall into it. You know, I had to have some conversation with myself, just like, hey, it, the cameras are on you all the time. You can't put on a show. You can't fake it. You just have mm -hmm. to be yourself. So. You know, in filming and then watching it back, I've just become a lot more comfortable with, with who I am. And it was funny to see some of my mannerisms that I didn't know I had and then to watch it back, I'd pick up on. <laughs> yeah. How was that having the cameras around? Because that's one thing, even though I'm outgoing, I feel like, you know, having cameras 24-7, um, were yeah. you able to be authentically yourself or was it a little bit nerve wracking knowing there's a camera, you know, watching you the whole time? <laughs> yeah. Um... I was able to be authentic after a few days. Okay. It took me a little bit to ease into it. I was stiff as a board those first couple of days. And, um, yeah, like I said, I kind of had a conversation with myself. And, and they looked, you know, this is what you signed up for. So you, you better get used to it. You better, you know, I, I didn't want to come off as uh, disingenuous, or, disingenuous or inauthentic. So I did just have to open up and be myself so it's, mm -hmm. it's not something that comes naturally um mm. i don't think but uh yeah, yeah. you ease into it yeah absolutely and you know going into the show what were the three things the, or what were some traits that you were looking for in the women and what were some deal breakers that you had ah uh, deal breakers i mean traits i'm looking for in a woman i i um you know, I need to uh, definitely like a free thinker and intellectual. Um, I love confident women who know who they are, know what they want out of life and out of a relationship and out of a man. Um, I don't know if I, you know, really, really had any deal breakers, at least going into it with, with any of the women there. Um, and, and honestly, I didn't even get to know some of those women on that level to, to even know if there were a deal breaker or not. Mm -hmm. um, because it may look like a long period of time, but it was not. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And, you know, being on Joe Millionaire, has what you're looking for in a woman changed with, you know, being in this whole process and meeting multiple women? Do you feel like you're, what you're looking for now has changed or is it the same? I think it's still the same. Yeah, my, my, my taste and uh, what I'm looking for in a uh, future partner wife is pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel like you've grown from this process? Because, I mean, you know, you went through quite a lot of heartbreak on the show. I mean, it was heartbreaking to see as well. <laughs> um, and, you know, because you have to be pretty vulnerable to be in that situation, right? So how do you feel like yeah. you've grown from this whole process? And what were your th thoughts after leaving the show? <laughs> um, again, I think, I think if I've grown in any, in any division, it would be that I, I'm just so much more comfortable kind of with who I am. And maybe... Part of that was because people resonated with me and I, and I did get a lot of support. You know, I had a lot of male support come out after because I was a bit, I was a bit shy to, to even admit, I, I didn't tell anyone I was going on this show mm -hmm. at all because I didn't want to hear any criticisms from either friends or associates or whatever. So I kept it, you know, tight to the chest. But after the show aired to see, 
how much support I got uh, mm. from my peers was uh, was really nice to see. You know, people had a lot of great things to say about in the way I carried myself and how vulnerable mm. I, I did make myself for the show. So that, that was nice to hear. And that made me feel just a lot more comfortable with who I am as a man, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And one thing that you did, I'm sure, get from the show was your bromance with Steven. I mean, you guys grew into such good friends. So let's talk about yeah. that and, and your relationship. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was honestly the best part of the show. The executive producer, it was all her doing. You know, they she struggled, I think, for the whole casting process to find two men that could do this. Mm -hmm. I think two men that would be, um, you know, cohesive. And she did a great job in pairing Stephen and I. It was right off the bat. There was no sort of competition maybe maybe a little bit of playful competition mm -hmm. maybe amongst you know friends or something but there was no jealous competition it was not one of us trying to like out alpha the other one mm -hmm. i know that's a terrible term but 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 i mean really you know when you get two two you know strong-headed guys in a room you know usually you're trying to you know beat the other one out but it wasn't like that with us we um respected each other and and we aligned with each other in a lot of ways and i think that that helped grow the friendship and the bromance Mm -hmm. What's something that you want people to know about you that maybe didn't come across um, on screen on the show that, you know, well, what's something that you think maybe got, you know, misconstrued or something that people don't know about you? Um, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of things got misconstrued. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I, I am kind of a, when it comes to relationships, I am just a, a softy. They, you know, I'm, I'm I think I can come off very coarse in other ways, but when it comes to relationships, they definitely are tough on me, and that's probably shown on the show. Um, but I, I don't know. There was so much that you know the show didn't really explore too much of who who Stephen and I really were. Mm -hmm. I mean, it didn't go into depths of you know my business, his businesses, you know uh, w what got us to building those businesses and or our. You know, kind of what we like to do on our personal time. Honestly, what what I am interested in, what I study on my personal time is is probably extremely boring to most people. I think I'm I'm a bit of a historian. Uh, that is um, kind of any of my entertainment that I do watch is basically documentaries or historical documentaries, and um, not not reality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, would you ever go on another reality show again? Or are you done with it after this? <laughs> no, I, I would actually. I wouldn't do a reality dating show. That was just, uh, it was a bit much for me. And I don't know if, um, and maybe I'm just a bit scorned that I didn't find love out of it. I don't know. But I just don't, I wouldn't want to put myself up for that again. But I would do another reality show. Now, I would, I would want it to be something that, I was maybe a little bit more passionate about maybe the rowdy show in the construction industry. Oh, um, that's that interesting. Be, that would be something fun. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> wow, reality show in the okay, okay. Maybe you can uh, executive produce that. <laughs> Who knows? There's an original idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it. You know, it could just showcase the men and women who work in the industry and kind of the ins and outs of, the, of, um, of their day. I think that would be something that I could be into. Or, or I could also be into maybe, you know, like a lifestyle uh, mm -hmm. reality show. I don't, I don't know what that would entail, but no, I'm not, I'm not shutting it down. Okay. You just put yourself out there and you enjoy the process. And though things didn't work out as planned, I mean, you learned a lot about yourself, which is, I mean, really the goal in life, right? Is to grow and to learn about yourself. So it's good to know. <laughs> and Kurt, what are you currently working on? Um, well, I've got my business, SoCo Group. Um, I focus mainly on commercial interiors, commercial outfits. Business uh, has been extremely busy. Um, and then I've got, um, you know, one of my kind of side passion, side hustles, I've, I've always had a, an eye for fashion. So me and a buddy, we've started um, a designer jacket line and, and we're working on some prototypes right now and I'm hoping to launch that this year. It would be amazing, but we'll see. I've got my hands full. And then, um, you know, I'd be interested in doing some, you know, maybe some commercial uh, work and entertainment and or spokesmanship roles. I, I wouldn't be opposed to, um, do any of that if it came my way and I feel like being an entrepreneur takes risks and you know uh, having faith and so does love so you know for anyone out there that's watching that is afraid to put themselves out there or maybe shy what would you say to them to encourage them to of course find love 
I would say, you know, you only got one chance at life and um, you have to take some level of risk if you want that reward. And, and, and a lot of times those things are scaled together. So the level of risk equals the level of reward. So um, even with love or work, business, anything that you want to do, hell, even with even with your health, I think you, you, you have to take some, some big risk, big reward. So um, I said, just go there and do it. Yeah. Don't be scared. So many people are um, scared of the unknown, and sometimes you just um, you just have to embrace it. You, you have to know oneself before you can know others. And, yeah. Uh, and something that I've learned too in my life is is you can only love others as much as you love yourself. So um, I think um, you know to be a good partner, to be a good friend, and to be a good businessman. I think you have to. Uh, know yourself and love yourself if, um, if you expect to be successful. Yeah, I think that's such good advice and it's so true. You really have to love and appreciate yourself and work on yourself before you're with someone else because if you're looking for someone else to complete you, it'll never work. But if you love yourself and you're in a good place and working on your personal development, you'll be able to bring a lot more to the table, right? So I, so I think that's that's an important thing that most people don't realize. So. Yeah, I think that's great advice. Thank you so much, Kurt, for being on the show today. It's a pleasure. Thank you for making the time to make it happen. Um, I wish you all the best, and hopefully you'll come to Toronto soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Showing you the CN Tower back here. Yeah, and we get to meet. Yeah. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook. You can fly high